Welcome! In this tutorial series, we're going to teach you how to make an add-on in Blender using Serpens 2.0 Visual Scripting. Serpens is an add-on for making your own add-ons, and was cleverly designed by two brothers, Joshua and Finn Knober, and is capable of integrating alongside scripted Python code. What makes Serpens unique is that it uses what I like to call node code, and is similar to Blender's node editors. I'm Sean Blanche, and I'll be taking you through this introductory series of videos to get you comfortable with the workspace, so you can confidently begin making your own Blender add-ons in no time. Let's slide right in. All right, before we start in Blender, if you don't have Serpens, then go ahead and use my affiliate links to grab yourself a copy. Then download the zip file and slide on over to Blender for the install. Now that we've downloaded the Serpin zip file, we can install it inside Blender. Click on Edit, then Preferences, and select the Add-ons tab. Then we're going to click on Install, and navigate to find your Serpin's download file. You don't need to unzip it, just click on the zip, and then click Install Add-on. Then click on the checkbox to enable the add-on and save your preferences. Let's open up the add-on preferences and we're going to talk about the changelog just real quick. This is an area where you'll be able to keep up to date on all the new releases of Serpens along with bug fixes that have been performed. Now the add-on preferences is split into three menus. We have the settings menu, the add-ons menu where you can search for other add-ons, and the Packages menu for advanced users that want to create packages. We're going to focus on Settings for right now. And within Settings, we have a Use Suggestions menu, along with a Show All Compatible menu. They go hand in hand. And what that does is when you drag out from a socket, you can hold the Shift key on your keyboard, and when you let go of the mouse, it will give you suggestions of what to connect the socket to. On the Debugging section, we're allowed to be able to show full errors during debugging. When you compile, you can have it enabled to show the Python file, as well as keeping the file after an error. You can export your add-on unzipped if you'd like, or you can have a debug export. There's also a check for updates, so that when you open Blender, you'll get a notification when a new version of Serpens is available. Go ahead and close the Edit Preferences workspace, and we will duplicate the scripting workspace to make ourselves a new Visual Scripting area to be able to work. Go ahead and rename this to Visual Scripting, and then change the workspace editor to be the new Serpens Visual Scripting workspace. At the top middle, you have an option to create your new add-on, and you can go ahead and click on that button and our add-on that we're going to be creating is a time recorder. So let's go ahead and type in time recorder. Give yourself an author name and click OK. Now notice over on the right side of the end panel, we now have a Serpents tab. And in the top right, you have the time recorder main node graph. All of the node code exists in a node graph and there is one main node graph per add-on but you can always click the plus mark to create more graphs. This will help keep things tidy and organized, as well as help the add-on compile quickly. Let's go on down to the add-on section. This is where the name and other information that exist in the add-on preferences are going to be kept. You have a category that you can pick where the add-on is used, along with the version numbers to help you with your version tracking, and the recommended Blender versions. Go ahead and open the settings now. And these are some options to be able to compile your add-on on file load, as well as auto compiling when you make change to the graph. You also have an auto save option. The next video is optional where we will cover the Serpent starting tutorial. If you don't want to do that, you can go ahead and click on the following video to get started. <laughs> 